today we'll make this gorgeous sign with things from Dollar Tree and stuff you already have at home. Keep watching! I want to start off with one of these uh, decorative posters that I got from Dirt Cheap that actually originally came from uh, Target and then two of these Valentine signs that came from Dollar Tree. I've just taken the little metal hearts off of that for another project. I'm going to glue it together with popsicle sticks and some Gorilla Glue sticks. This is just to keep them firmly together without folding tape or glue wouldn't be strong enough for this so we want it to be to be able to hold the weight of that gather sign once we put that on there. Just showing you how to do that. There are bigger popsicle sticks you can use if you need to. Alright, so we we're just flipping it over and I'm going to take out this poster. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Um, so I'm just going to lay it out and mark off the size. And then I'm going to cut out that piece of paper and put the rest of it aside for another project. Okay, so when you have wrinkled paper like this, if you'll gently fold against where that wrinkle is, you can press some of that out, but we'll get it all out later. Okay, so I have overhang on both sides and both ends, and that's okay. I started with the glue stick, and I was unhappy with the coverage. It seemed kind of sticky and gross, so I've got some spray adhesive that also came from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to spray that pretty good coat on there. You can see in some spots it looks kind of wet. And then I'll lay that poster paper back down. It's thin. It, it, it's not a really thick. It's not like cardstock. So it's pretty, pretty easy to work with and get the wrinkles out. I'm just trying to press it down to make sure there's no air bubbles and to make sure that it's sticking well. And it looks like it's repositionable so that's great. And I'm just using my Dollar Tree ruler to press out any wrinkles or bubbles that might be in there. I like this better than Mod Podge because you do get a lot of nasty bubbles and um, you don't have that with this adhesive or with glue sticks really um, as far as my look has been anyway. Okay so once you've given that time to dry you're just going to take a sanding block from Dollar Tree and just sand down from the top on the sides. It's going to give you a nice smooth edge and it will look like it came that way. Just like it was store bought. You just keep sanding. Try not to pull. You don't want to tear anything but if, if a piece is sprayed and hanging there you can kind of give it a little gentle pull and take that off. And you want to do that all the way around top, bottom, and both sides. I learned this trick from other YouTubers that I watch that do craft videos. Okay, so I used chalk paint to, change, to paint my gather sign. I used about three coats, um, and that's, that gather sign did come from Dollar Tree. It's kind of heavy. So I wanted to get an idea of where I wanted to place it, and also I knew that I wanted some type of a frame, so I'm using these tumbling tower game blocks that you can get at Dollar Tree. It's just in the kids' toy section and trying to get an idea of spacing and the layout here. It's easier to, to give it a dry run than it is to glue it down and then decide you don't like it or it doesn't fit correctly because these blocks are not always the same measurement. They're not always the same size. So you just need to be, be careful about that, be mindful about that. So if you wanted to do it all the way around the edges like this, you certainly could. But you can you can change it and do it any way you want. And I decided I just wanted it on the top and bottom. Kind of like um, the other wall hangings that you see that look more like a, like a scroll or something. Um, sort of like that idea. So 
I'm just using my glue. I'm lining it up. I don't want to put it between each block because it will cause some bulk in there and I, I want it to be kind of a smooth, even line. So I'm just going to put that Gorilla Glue stick, just going to apply that to the bottom and then to the board, lining it up between the edge of the board and the block that's right beside it. That'll give you a nice straight edge. But if you really want it to be super straight, you can put a ruler down there. You can put a, a long piece of wood under it or whatever. Um, a level straight edge, whatever you want to do. But this is farmhouse, so it's not intended to be perfect anyway. As you will see, when I put my last block down, there's a little bit of extra edge there that it didn't cover. So I'll use the same amount on the top and bottom. That still happens. So I'm going to use some of this Gorilla Glue and go around on the sign, which I'm, as I said before, it's, it's a little heavy and bulky, so you want to be sure that you get a good application of glue on this, but not enough to squish out when you press it down. Try to stay in the center of your letters. And I'm just going to gently press it down to make sure that it sticks. And I've decided that I want to use um, like a rope on the sides. I have this thick yarn that I've used before in the pumpkin video. And I'll link that video for you so you can watch that. And I'm just tying a knot on each end, whatever length you want, however far down you want it to hang. And I'm just going to glue the knot to the block on the top and on the bottom of each side. I'm just putting my clamp there so it doesn't move when I'm scooting it around to keep it in the camera. So there we go there. And then I'm going to go right along the edge with a bead of glue to put that rope down. It's kind of at an angle, kind of on the edge, kind of on the side. And I do like the way that looks. All right, then I'm going to take a hula skirt that I'm using as raffia, and I'm going to tie a simple little bow. I just took a, a chunk of it and cut it off and then tied my little bow. Yeah, I'm weird about bows. I like for things to be symmetrical, so I'm playing around there to make sure that my my rabbit ears are the same size, and I decided that I want to place those on the sides. Maybe make it look like it's supporting the rope on the sides or the yarn on the sides. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So here's that hula skirt. So you can see that it did come off of that hula skirt. Here you can see how I'm tying it. And that is it. Once you get that put together, compare it to the other bow, trim it up, glue it down, and it is complete. And I love it. My pretty little gather sign for Thanksgiving and fall. And I hope that you will try it yourself. I hope you'll subscribe. We've got lots more things coming. And I appreciate you viewing. Please like it if there's something that you liked in this video. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.